Hicks. <laughs> Henry Estrada. Good evening, fellow chuckers. I just want to echo Rick's sentiment um, to Chuck's family. Thank you so much for giving us Chuck. We were so fortunate to have him in our lives. When I think about the, the huge void he left behind, leaving so suddenly and so unexpectedly, it is challenging. But I remember how Chuck always, always stepped up to challenges. Stepped up to an amazing amount of challenges in such a short and full life. When he had his heart surgery a couple of years ago, many of us were able to tell him and show him just how much he meant to us. I'm really glad about that. I'm really glad we had that opportunity. I'm glad I was able to tell him how much strength he gave me, how he inspired me by the way he lived, how proud I was and still am of him. I met Chuck at a, at a very tender time in his life when he was going through a lot of big changes. Uh, one of them being how to live his life with HIV. And like everything else, he met that challenge with courage and conviction, not only so he could take care of himself, but also so he could inspire others to care. He spoke openly and often through his work as an activist and volunteer for many AIDS charities, and also through his body of work, which will be his legacy. At the time I met him, he was ready to make another big leap, to leave his job as a successful graphic designer with HEB, and begin a new life as a full-time artist, an artist with a capital A. It was not an ambition, not a goal, it was his calling. And he answered it. He embraced it. I think the most important lesson I learned from my friendship with Chuck is how you can invent yourself and become your own invention. And he did that. I think it's a lesson his family and friends will continue to be inspired by because he left us with an open proposition and the comforting thought that we can all realize our potential. <clears throat> Chuck loved people. He engaged with people fully and authentically. He remembered people's names. He was the first to arrive at the party and the last to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and when the party was over, he had his cats is Leo, Marble, and Gray Kitty, which he loved dearly. Chuck lived with an open, caring heart. Thank you, Chuck. I love you very much. And thank you all for showing your loving kindness tonight.